always going to be some type of some type of uh, resistance there. Yeah. We need to we need to think about that and why the why that resistance is why that resistance is is there. What resistance I can expect. Uh, how I can deal with that resistance coming from self, resistance coming from other people, all of that you need to think about that. Here is the one thing which we which we saw, yeah. So these type of things uh, uh, you need to think about in terms of uh, we looked at team and we looked at organization. I'm going to uh, look at your comments now and uh, say a couple of things on that. But uh, I have been speaking a lot today. Please uh, say some things. Come on the mic. Uh, Hello, sir. Yes. It's Mariana. Um, yes, Mariana. With regards to resistance, I just want to say that if if appropriate change management is to be implemented, the very first thing to take into account is indeed the resistance, and that's why there are stakeholder management is the starting point is actually to do a list of your stakeholders everyone which is going to be passively or actively uh, impacted or benefited by the change to make the list to assess their uh, let's say benefits or impact from the change stakeholder mm -hmm. perspective and really based on understanding your stakeholders and uh, what are what is their interest into the change is to make a proper communication plan having a communication plan in place in place which considers the different stakeholders group is the key to overcome the resistance but not only to implement the change and um, implement it successfully with the minimal impact on the human factor. Mm. 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 Thanks very much, Mariana. Very good points. Yeah, so you need to make those type of bodies and those type of chan channels which are going to help you in that in that uh, in that process. And Mariana, use some terminologies there. Run some Google searches on that. I think try to understand point she was making so yes mariana very good yes anyone else what are make some comments observations if there is are if there are any before i move on to the next one okay no problem need to um show a couple of clips now so let's uh, let's watch them together and uh, please ensure that before we close you guys come and say a couple of things uh, that is important, I think. Okay, let's watch this one. Uh, please pay attention to this clip. It's a short one. Very interesting clip to um, reflect on. So uh, what I'm trying to uh, bring your attention to is that, uh, you know, you make one change in the system and that is going to have multiple impacts on various things which uh, which you might not have thought about so it is very important that you make adjustment in one area in the organization you have to reflect on it that it can have impact on other areas so very important many times it, it does not it does not uh, people sometimes make even in your personal life in your personal life uh, we are talk we, we started by talking about bringing some changes in your personal life right even in your personal life, you will make adjustment in one area, one part. It will have impact on so many other things in your life. It is just like those of us who studied, for example, chemistry um, in undergrad or in high school or whatever. One adjustment of, you know, um, electron, proton from here to here, it, it changes the chemistry of the of the formula. <laughs> one adjustment here and there yeah uh, so you have to be very mindful about bringing any type of any type of change even in yourself because uh, you create let's say you are making some change in your eating habits so you will make change in your eating habit but it is going to impact 
so many other things. Maybe your energy level is going to go down because you are trying to eat clean or something like that. A little adjustment, like you are used to work out in the morning. You say, okay, let me start working out in the evening. Well, you are working out before, you will be working out now. What is the big difference just from morning to evening? But just that difference alone is going to put things in the in the shake. You have to be very mindful about this, that you're bringing any type of change. One little change is going to impact, impact ripple effects on many things in the in the life. Same thing in the organization you saw in the clip. That's the like minor adjustment. The, girl was trying to make and then the person comes that you are doing something it has impacted so many other departments something you have to be really mindful about one thing i really want to say please pay attention you are trying to change someone yeah before you change someone in your private personal life or at work does not really matter again yeah it's just people are people so you're trying to change someone before you go about changing them just sit down with yourself and see what are the good things they have. What are the things you value? What are the things you really like in them? Yeah. Make a list of those things. And before you tell them to change their habits or whatever you want them to change, please be very mindful that it is a possibility that they will change. But the cost will be that some of their good habits which you like are going to go away it is a possibility not saying always it is going to happen like that but because it is a it is a composition like a chemical formula you change one thing it is going to have impact on other things so before you bring ask someone to change please sit down and see what are the good they are bringing on the table that good might decrease right? make a calculated thought think about it see if you still want to go ahead and change them go ahead and change them but before that think about this that the things you like what if if they also vanish or something like that very important to think about that yes i think mariana you it's by mistake your hand is raised or you want to continue talking no it's not by mistake it's again just pretty much to add up to what you're saying but from yeah from a business perspective it's uh it's again before any change is implemented it, the most important thing is to do impact assessment and then mm -hmm. you do impact assessment from all areas and aspects really financial commercial legal um uh, compliance um uh, technical because of delivery um uh, anything you name it accreditation <laughs> hr lnd um probably i can name a couple of more you know uh it's mm -hmm. you just you just can't you can't go and implement a change freely and safely without doing assessment of the potential areas that are going to be impacted because yeah mm -hmm. you implement a change in one area of the business and mm -hmm. the other goes badly <laughs> suffering mm -hmm. as a result it doesn't help mm -hmm. Mm, excellent point excellent point and you know simple it can be simple thing from the business perspective let's say that you have you have design of the bottle or design of some logo or something and it it is it it complies to the legal requirement of your country now you are going into like let's say international business and you are sending your product to some other country and your product don't uh, don't comply with the things that country is asking you to put on the logo and we're going to talk about these things in international business management, I think. Uh, very good points Mariana has has raised. So any type of change, it, she's talked more legal, HR, all different type of thing. Very good point. Excellent. Yes, Doin, what's up? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah man, we can hear you. And we can see you too also. So that is yeah. the part. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, That's a I change. Actually, I enabled my camera yesterday, but for some reason, my laptop refused to comply. So. Good to see you. <clears throat> so I wanted to add to the um, what you and Mariana said about um, the importance of change. And she was talking about impact assessment. And I want to add another perspective. And this is from my experience with 
working in technology. So sometimes you want to make a change to something and you have, there's no reason why you think changing one small thing would cause an earthquake in China, for example. <laughs> but then you change that thing and all hell breaks loose. So um, one additional benefit of impact assessment of change management is of course during that process it forces you to take records and things like that so in addition to avoiding chaos doing change management also helps you in problem solving so even you can't completely eliminate issues from making changes because there, there are blind spots you don't see everything you, you might not cover every basis in your impact assessment. But if you've gone through the change management and something happens that no one foresaw, you can use that information or what you've learned from your impact assessment to solve the problem. So in some cases, trace your steps back. In some cases, you're just applying what you learned from your change management process and it helps you solve problems. That's it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very profound, very, very interesting, very interesting comments. And these things, these things take, these things take a lot of time and effort and energy. And over a period of time, you learn about these things. And especially the things Mariana was talking about, the compliance and those things, you will have to find the experts in the field. Even if you understand change management, you have to have uh, knowledge of knowledge of different cultures where your product is going all of those things would be very important yes mariana please go ahead just to add i absolutely agree with uh, what we three of us are now discussing it's just just again any impact assessment actually um i think the best friend of the impact assessment is actually the risk management so as part of the impact assessment you you potentially raise risks you have known risk, but you also have a known risk. So you just make assumptions and what if scenarios, which complements the completeness of the impact assessment. So yeah, no one would may well no one may have foreseen an earthquake or in China or you know falling the the what was the word the the, the World Trade Center yeah and the reason why both towers were not that say insured because the risk the likelihood of the risk was so small but it still happened yeah but that's the point of the risk management and that's the point of having risks and assumptions documented mm -hmm. uh, as Dwayne is saying for for the purpose of um olive trail uh tracking of the progress and then learning absolutely agree with that mm -hmm. And in all of that, you have to, you know, try to uh, try to try to see if people can change their habits and all of those things, which is again another, you know, so it's a it's a quite it's quite difficult to do all these things and then people can get overwhelmed with all of these things. So you, you need a team of again, you know, team of group, uh, team of good people. A team of people who are like-minded, who have the same purpose to sort out these type of things, and the resources. A lot of resources would be also required from the from the company side. The way Mariana is looking at uh, all of this topic, a lot of resources and the support from leadership, which would be our next topic. I think the next topic tomorrow we will look at leading change, role of leadership. So all of these things are going to really tie down. Uh, very nicely i think and then the then the perspective of people can we change people or not you know this is an interesting question to think reflect on can we change people or we cannot change people yeah. um, sure. i think uh, we can change people but uh we can't force people to change hmm. i would say I'm we can educate that. people and it's their decision sorry I'm loving that background. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? In pavilion area, like middle of the campus. My God, this is some beautiful campus that is. It looks like just some picture in the background. It don't even look real, but we believe you. You are definitely, definitely there. Yes, yeah, very nice. So, so, so what are what are you saying? We can change people or we cannot change people? 
we can change okay. but uh we can't uh we can't force people to change because humans are not uh an application uh, if i want if i give an example uh if you owner of instagram uh, you can update something whatever you want and then people uh, take people give, give feedback to you mm. and you can change in easy way again something but um in people's side i think it's not easy like that the, uh, that because mm. uh, everyone can everyone uh, may not uh, accept all thing all step and you don't have this right you 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 can't force the people sometimes it's possible sometimes not mm. so mm. Me, mm. Mm. In short, mm -hmm. but you are trying to say like you, you should not force other people because people will not like. Yeah, we can change them. the people. But they can change over a over a period of time. Give them chance to change. Yeah, but I yeah. think we shouldn't. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good points. Nice. 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 Enjoy the enjoy the background. Thanks for showing us different places every day you always show us different places and we appreciate it uh, very nice beautiful yes next okay it's me again yes join please go ahead um i wanted to share an experience i had um, yes not too long ago it mm. was my it was the first time i would lead a team in my organization it was it was the first mm. time it was a very small one but it was enough to freak me out. I had never been a leader of a whole team. And it was a very fancy name they gave my position as well. <laughs> so um, I, was, I was a little afraid. But what I want to share is how I managed to inspire my, <clears throat> the members of my team mm. to do things differently. Now, <clears throat> and it, it connects to what you were saying about um, ownership. Some of the models mentioned ownership, and we talked about belonging. Um, mm. You know, making, creating a team that is cohesive, uh, works together. So mm. the way I went about it is I started with the benefits of changing the way we were working. I knew mm. that we had different styles of working. And I proposed, and I always start with the proposal. Like, here's what I'm thinking. What do you think? This, these are the benefits, and it will make our lives easier at the end. So I, I suggest you do things this way. I was the boss, but I was still proposing it because I respect the fact that people have opinions and they have their ways, and it will be hard to change. And mm -hmm. um, luckily, they usually um my team members would see the sense in what i'm proposing and went so far as to boast about it so um the member of my team posted something on linkedin and said he's changed the way he works and he is also leading other people to do things in that way because the benefits were obvious and it, it made life easy so um i wasn't i'm by no means an expert leader in that yeah. regard but it was it felt really good to see the impact of that and it's encouraging oh, very nice yes oh, uh, i think uh, uh, people uh, can change or or people want to change for example uh, uh, today the baby he want to learn how to walk and and how to talk and how to move around in this way but uh, there is a certain like for example what i am today i i am like uh, i am I, I learn from my father mother i learn from my environment i learn from my family i learn from my friends i learn from my culture so uh, people are always learning but uh, there is uh, some problem if you say someone that 
you have to learn these things then people uh, usually uh, resist that that no i will not do that so uh, you have to give them option people always choose pick and choose like sometimes you can choose that I, okay i will learn this but i will not learn that so uh, uh, environment and our our uh, people around us give us option to choose and we take from them and then we change according to ourselves in oh. the particular deal we change ourselves. Oh, 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 oh. Very interesting, very interesting, good one. Yes, keep going guys, keep going. Our friends from uh, Hong Kong, uh, Chan and uh, Tiffany, we are missing your uh, input on the on the voice if possible do come yes eleonora yeah so it, people have been saying like um, changing other people uh, it's always slippery slope kind of um, asking other people to change for for yourself or for the benefit of the group because when you ask people to change, they can, of course, do it if they feel like they, they are prepared to do it. But at the same time, if you change something of yourself, usually something else pops up. Mm. It can be positive or negative, like always. Mm. Like if you take something else away, something new will always come up. So are we willing to take a chance that the change is going to be positive or maybe more positive or what if the new quality is not as good maybe it's even worse than the one oh. we want to change <laughs> so we can always inspire or encourage people to change but at the same time there is like everything, there's a price to pay. Is a price what if the pay. price is more than we are willing to make? And is it fair to ask people to change? Because uh, the world is about acceptance. That's the new kind of way to go forward. We try to accept people for who they are. And of course, we all have qualities, quirks that are not as pleasing. Uh, who are we to say that the other person qualities are not good when we all have those? Mm -hmm. It's always like if I'm asking you to change some qualities, then then you will always have the right to also make a point that some of my qualities are not good enough then if somebody <laughs> points those out am i also willing to make those changes that is always something to consider when maybe you are thinking that ah oh, that quality is not that great mm. but then again what are the qualities in me that might need change and am i willing mm. to change those if somebody do mm. actually point them out mm. it's always like yeah. what what is the cost and what is fair to ask or what is the fair price mm. and in organizational setting it can be quite challenging also all of that toll yes. on the body toll on mind all of that so you can link it with organization, business world. You can link it with your private personal life, however, however you want to link it. So very nice. Thanks, Eleanor. How is your How is your throat? Good. Your voice coming good now. Yeah, yeah. It actually just started to get better like two hours ago. Until oh, now, it has actually felt a little sore still. Uh, okay. I don't know if other people probably don't know, but I had an allergic reaction actually quite bad okay. yesterday. Okay. So. It, it required going to a clinic to actually. Yeah. So, yeah, it it actually now it's just getting better. <laughs> okay. It's yeah, yeah. It's like long time to get better after after if it's actually yes. bad reaction. Yes, yes. But I could not personally. I could not feel any difference. The voice quality is great, just like before. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah now now it's uh, good good thank you good 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 and thanks for thanks for coming yeah asinam uh, please go ahead uh hello teacher and hello all i just want to say uh the similar thing what elnora mentioned actually the mm -hmm. Thing that I want to mention is that I think we have to give people very powerful reason, uh, which makes which which makes the change possible. Otherwise, they can adapt. They can not adopt that change. They can accept, but they cannot adapt from in, from their heart. And that's why what I believe is that they should have very powerful reason to change because when they get tired of the, of that change, they should find the reason to motivate themselves. <laughs> mm. yeah. Very true. Um, why are you getting a little bit emotional uh, by looking at the places where <laughs> Seema is sitting? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit because it is it is my campus, but I haven't went, uh, gone there for two years actually. That's why. Two years, okay. Why two years? Because of COVID nineteen. Okay, where where are you sitting right now? Uh, just living room. <laughs> living room, okay. Uh, I can see your facial expression changing when I spoke about the university so i'm not going to talk more on that <laughs> <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes yes tiffany please go ahead hi tiffany. sorry can you hear me yes yes, yes yeah. we can we so can hear actually you i think um like um can we change people i think it depends on on the time like for example mm -hmm. if if we're just working on a group project or we're just um, facing um, that people at a very short time, then I think we can like change their working styles as mentioned by doing in, in the chat. Like we can change how we work together at a very short period. But um, for example, for someone like, like changing their personality or like changing how they um, how, how their lifestyle or like something that requires a long time to to build up or or requires a long time to adapt I think that it's really hard for, for us to like force them to change because mm -hmm. at the end it's it's their life and it's their own decision on on whether they they would like to like to have this change and we couldn't like alter their 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 lifestyle yeah mm -hmm. but but overall i believe that if if like if the changes are quite minor for example like just uh, maybe compromising with each other when when working on a project or mm -hmm. or just um um going going out with friends or families like mm -hmm. this this mm -hmm. minor things could 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 easy compromise by everyone then I, I guess it's it's easy for mm -hmm. us to like have these changes mm -hmm. very interesting viewpoint and very interesting way to express uh, yourself um, thank you for that very interesting uh, so in, in in real life in the business world these things can be you now quite challenging when you when on one hand we understand we should not force other people to make adjustments but in the in the real business world then they are going to ask for us to do certain things so if the boss is not very understanding then it can impact even if we enjoy our job we will not enjoy our job as much because someone is kind of uh, forcing us so uh, generally speaking people as tiffany is explaining very nicely um, uh, people don't like to be forced on anything you know, have to be mindful about that in all change situations very good very good Yes, Chan. Yeah. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, beautiful. Yes. Um, so I think uh, when we demand a change for other people, like we don't we don't simply only ask them to change, but we also have to like change ourselves as well. Like change in a way, not meaning that uh, we have to uh, act like what others want us to be, but instead like uh, 
we we ha we have to show our sincerity that uh we 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 uh we don't only ask for your changes but i i will change myself as well in order to make the whole situation better for example like uh take a take a very um i think a very daily life example for example in a relationship um mm -hmm. like we don't only ask for a partner to change in order to act like what you want your partner to be but instead you have to mm -hmm. <laughs> change yourself as well in order to like uh for both of the for both of us to be a better person so i think like change is not a unilateral but instead it's a bilateral uh, improvement between uh, uh um, both or even all parties mm -hmm. But uh, is it is it easier um, for you personally speaking? What has been your experience of the example you are giving? It is easy for you to change yourself, and when in which situations it is easy for you to change yourself? I think um, like I I I think I'm not a very strong person in asking other other people to change their personality mm -hmm. in order to fit mine. Um, instead, yeah. I think uh, for, uh, whenever I would like uh, someone to like not 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 in a relationship, but like take study as an example, like when whenever mm -hmm. I want uh, others to change uh, to improve in a better way, then I I I would change myself first in order to like be, act as a mo role model for others. Like I uh, I have changed in order to uh, mm -hmm. um, improve myself and better fit into the situation. So uh, others seeing this may may consider, oh, I, I will have to change it as well. I think this is more, way more effective than like simply asking or demanding them for, for a change in their behavior because like by verbally requesting them is, is quite difficult to achieve it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for, thanks for that uh, commentary. Very deep, very profound for home. Thanks, Jen. thanks. Okay, thanks. Uh, enjoy your evening, Jarko. Look, did not hear from you guys today. What happened? 